As we all know, Mount Everest is the highest mountain on our planet. If we turn the tables of earthly extremes in order to get to the deepest point on Earth, we end up in the legendary Mariana Trench. The deep sea channel in the western Pacific exists at an unbelievable maximum depth of around 11,000 meters. At the same time, the Mariana Trench extends for a distance of around 2,400 kilometers. In these lowest areas of the deep sea, there's also an extreme pressure of 107 megapascals. This corresponds approximately to a thousand times the pressure value on the surface. Since the underwater region is at such a gigantic depth, no sunlight can penetrate it. At first glance, it seems as if there are only a few areas on our globe that are more hostile to life than the Mariana Trench. However, reality paints a completely different picture. In fact, some creatures have managed to adapt to the adverse circumstances of this secluded deep-sea channel. Stay tuned to learn which underwater inhabitants and secrets are at home in the deep-sea heart of the ocean. But before we jump into it, be sure to stick around for number two. It's so bizarre you may not believe it. Also, make sure you hit that like button and ring the notification bell for more videos. The Residence of the Mariana Trench while for many decades it was considered practically impossible for the deep sea to be home to living organisms, we now know that the ecosystems located there have successfully withstood the ravages of time over countless millennia. Because the deep sea, which by definition begins around 200 meters below the surface of the sea, is by far the largest habitat on our planet. This gigantic underwater area covers more than 60% of the entire surface of the Earth. The deep sea takes up about twice as much space as all land masses on Earth. Despite these impressive facts, we currently know very little about the fauna in the deepest regions of the world's oceans. However, the sea expeditions that have been carried out so far have already revealed that some of the most bizarre creatures of all time live in these corresponding areas. In addition to devil anglers and viper fish, this also includes gigantic cephalopods, which in terms of their dimensions are more reminiscent of fully grown whales than conventional squids. The experts assume that many millions of unknown species lie waiting in the depths of the oceans that are yet to be discovered in the future. One of the most impressive finds of recent times, however, was the discovery of Pseudoloparis suerei. We've only known of the existence of this unique deep-sea fish, which is at home in the Mariana Trench, since 2017. The researchers succeeded in examining a total of 37 specimens of this previously unknown species. According to our current state of knowledge, these underwater inhabitants are the deepest species of fish ever. Many people wonder why some of the creatures that live in the deepest parts of the ocean look so much different than fish and other animals that we have in our natural world. There are two reasons for this. One reason is that without the influence of sunlight, these fish are tasked with developing much differently than their sun-loving counterparts. Without the influence of the sun, these fish have to develop different forms of sight, if they can see at all. Their bodies also need to develop different defense mechanisms, among other things. The other main reason why deep-sea creatures look so bizarre to us when compared to normal fish is simply that we as as a culture have normalized the appearance of these fish. What this means is that after being exposed to more common fish for so many years, we've come to accept these fish as normal. Thus, anything else must look abnormal. If we had been exposed to more bizarre-looking fish for a longer period of time, we probably wouldn't think too much about them. The aforementioned fish that were examined by the experts had lengths of 9.5 to 23.7 centimeters. The deep sea inhabitants are characterized by their long bodies, which are, visually speaking, strikingly reminiscent of the shape of tadpoles. 
Since the corresponding species was only found a few years ago, very little is known about its exact way of life. However, the scientists assume that it's an endemic species, which means that it only occurs in the Mariana Trench. In addition to this, it was found that the specimens researchers examined exclusively eat crabs. The fish were detected at depths between just under 6,200 and around 8,100 meters. Expeditions to the Deepest Point of the Sea For many years, experts have argued that the Mariana Trench is adorned with nothing but a yawning void. The conditions that naturally prevail in the deep sea are simply too extreme to allow the existence of living beings there. Today we know, however, that the experts were incredibly wrong and led themselves to believe something that was not entirely true. As early as 1958, some Soviet researchers succeeded in detecting the first underwater inhabitants at a depth of 7,000 meters. Although the monstrous deep sea channel is undoubtedly one of the most fascinating structures on our planet, its detailed exploration is still in its infancy. Incredible but true, humanity currently knows more about the natural makeup of Mars than about the shape and fauna of the Mariana Trench. In fact, only three people have so far managed to reach the deepest point of the sea. The first people to carry out this demanding undertaking were Jacques Picard from Switzerland and Don Walsh from the United States. In January 1960, the two deep-sea pioneers climbed into the Trieste diving capsule designed by the Krupp Company, in which they finally managed to reach the deepest point of our known world. The dive to the bottom of the sea took 4 hours and 47 minutes. With the depth of 10,916 meters reached, the two men ultimately immortalized themselves in history books around the world. The two daring researchers were not driven by the hunt for new diving records, though, but rather to find out whether living things still exist in the deepest regions of the world's oceans. And in fact, during their 20-minute stay, the two managed to spot some completely unknown deep-sea creatures. In his logbook, Picard described, among other things, a mysterious disc-shaped creature that swam back and forth in front of the porthole of the diving capsule. To this day, however, we cannot say with absolute certainty which underwater inhabitants the two men observed. For many decades, Picard and Walsh were the only people to have reached one of the deepest points in the world's oceans. In 2012, they were finally followed by none other than world-famous film director James Cameron. However, the Titanic maker was unable to fully match the original record of its pioneers. Accordingly, his immersion capsule touched down at a depth of 10,908 meters, so that the record achieved in 1960 is still in place. James Cameron created a documentary about his expedition to the Mariana Trench called Deep Sea Challenge in 2014. Cameron made a similar journey when he visited the Titanic wreckage back in the 1990s, when he was one of the very first people to get a close look at what the ship looked like after resting in the bottom of the ocean for nearly a hundred years. Unfortunately, James didn't bring back much new information about the Mariana Trench. Fascinating Jellyfish The majestic glowing jellyfish, which was discovered a few years ago in the Mariana Trench, looks at first as if it had sprung from the creative spirit of a science fiction author. However, the so-called Crisota jellyfish is not a fictional being, but a real inhabitant of the deep sea. The previously unknown jellyfish was discovered in 2016 by a deep-sea robot 3,700 meters below the surface of the water. The red and yellow jellyfish seemed to cast its tentacles like a kind of net in order to catch its unsuspecting prey. The underwater creature is possibly a representative of the jellyfish species Hydromedusa, which is classified in the genus Crisota. The glowing structures inside the jellyfish are probably their reproductive organs, which are connected to one another by red radiating channels. We don't know much about these fish for certain, but researchers have given their best guesses about the strange anatomy of this strange creature. 
inexplicable bite marks. In the early 80s, an incident occurred that gave us an idea of the monstrous creatures that can be found in the deepest regions of the Mariana Trench. At that time, the crew of a U.S. research vessel was busy lowering a spherical robot into the deep sea, when suddenly something very strange happened. First, the onboard instruments began to record mysterious sea sounds that none of the crew members could assign. Even stranger, however, was the fact that the cables to which the lowered probe was attached were being torn deeper and deeper, as if by an invisible force. The researchers reacted quickly and tried to get the device back on board the ship as quickly as possible. However, the diving robot did not move from its location at first. It appeared as if it was being held by a powerful creature. Believe it or not, it took three hours before the crew managed to bring the device back to the surface of the water. When the scientists then took a look at the object, they couldn't believe their eyes. Several of the massive steel cables had been cut, and the robot itself showed irreparable damage that resembled gigantic bite marks. In view of the damaged equipment, quite a few crew members were faced with sheer fear. It's a daunting task to have released such an expensive piece of equipment into the deep and unknown waters of the deep sea. However, I cannot imagine how strange they must have felt, with the device finally resurfacing and appearing as though it had been eaten by a sea monster. The official explanation justified the incident, claiming that the submersible robot was lowered into the water and got stuck on a rock. The attempts to withdraw the object would have caused the massive damage that the researchers noticed. However, the fact that such rock formations do not exist at all within this marine area speaks against this theory. As far as we know, there was practically nothing to catch the probe on. But even if this idea describes what actually took place, it still doesn't explain where the puzzling noises came from. Another extremely controversial theory, however, assumes that it was not a natural bottom formation, but a gigantic underwater inhabitant that had damaged the equipment so badly. Some researchers actually believe that a modern descendant of the legendary Megalodon was responsible for the damage. The incredibly large creatures, which are over 20 meters long and weigh tons, are believed to have died out more than two and a half million years ago. However, if this damage was, in fact, caused by a distant member of the Megalodon family, it could redefine history and change the way we view the natural world of our oceans. Plastic Waste Although the gigantic expanses of the Mariana Trench have only been explored in parts so far, man has already managed to leave a sad trace here too. In fact, a discarded plastic bag has already been discovered in this secluded deep sea area. This painful find again exemplifies the increasing pollution of the world's oceans. Current estimates assume that up to 12.7 million tons of garbage end up in the oceans within a single year year. In other words, a truckload of plastic waste is dumped in the sea each and every minute. However, only a small part of it floats on the water's surface. Most of the plastic eventually sinks to deeper ocean regions or to the bottom of the ocean. It's likely that 80 million tons of plastic waste have already accumulated on the ocean floor over time. For the inhabitants of the seas, the increasing littering of their homeland goes hand in hand with devastating consequences. The animals either get caught in the plastic parts or eat them because they mistake them for prey. If the pollution of the oceans continues at this alarming rate, we'll probably not find a seabird by 2050 that does not have plastic parts in its digestive tract. These pieces of plastic that find their way into the bodies of fish can have devastating effects on the rest of the world as well. Not only do they cause terrible health issues for animals, but these effects can be passed on to humans as well. When fishermen head out in search of fish to bring back to the mainland and sell, many of the fish they recover from the open waters have already been contaminated by plastic. Thus, when we eat these fish, we too are exposed to the harmful chemicals found in plastic. 
So guys, now it's your turn. Which secrets of the deep sea captivated you the most? Let us know in the comments. Also, if you like this video, be sure to hit that like button. If you'd like to see other videos just like this one, make sure you subscribe and ring the notification bell to stay up to date with all of our future uploads.